December 31st of the year 2020. That's the date when Flash Player will die. 안녕하십니까? Nicolas Enida, and today we're going to talk about the rise and fall of Flash Player and how Steve Jobs started it all. We all know Flash Player. Flash Player was a thing that we needed to have if we wanted to play a game, if we wanted to watch a video, if we wanted to go to many websites. Flash Player was the thing you had to have. But what people don't know is that Flash Player or Flash wasn't even intended to be on the web. Flash was first created by a company called Future Wave Software. This company created a product called Future Splash Animator. And this program was only meant to be for people that make cartoons, for people that make animations, for animation studios. But then this company was acquired by another company called Macromedia that I think you have heard of. Macromedia bought Future Splash Animator and changed the name to Flash. And Macromedia saw the opportunity of having animations but on the browser. So they created the Flash Player plugin. Flash Player plugin became incredibly, incredibly popular because back then we couldn't have beautiful websites. We couldn't have animations. We couldn't have transitions. We couldn't have animations. You couldn't change fonts. It was awful. But then Flash came and now we could design our websites visually. And then Macromedia added a programming language called Action Script to Flash. And now we could program animations. I click here, some animation happened. And this is when Flash really, really exploded. We had websites that I, I don't know if you remember, but there were some websites that used to have an intro where you go to the website, some beautiful animation happens, you click, and then you enter the website. Also, we had full websites that were devoted to games. Flash games were amazing. Even Facebook had Flash games. Everybody had Flash games. I used to play Flash games a lot. It was the best, but still, Games and beautiful websites, that wasn't what made Flash Player so popular. Actually, what made Flash Player popular was the fact that a little website, just starting out, called YouTube, chose Flash Player as the way they were going to show and stream videos. And this changed everything. Now, we had video on the web, which right now, it seems like an obvious thing. Yes, of course, you can play a video on the web. But before, we couldn't. Before, we couldn't watch videos on the internet until Flash came along. And now with YouTube and with all the other companies that wanted to show video on the web adopting this, Flash became a vital part of the web. That means that if you wanted to go on the web, you had to have Flash installed. You couldn't watch a video, you couldn't go to some websites, and you couldn't even play games. You had to have Flash installed. Flash was so incredibly powerful and that it was even bundled in the operating system. What that means is that anytime you bought a new Windows computer or a Mac computer, Flash came pre-installed and all you had to do was update it. But then some guy came along and he said, sorry guys, we gotta stop Flash. And that guy was Steve Jobs. By the time Steve Jobs was launching his first iPhone, his first iPod Touch, he wrote a letter explaining to everybody and to his consumers why he was never going to allow Flash to be installed on iOS. The reason why he explained is because Flash wasn't open. And this is true. This was a big, big problem. The whole web was depending on a private company, in this case, Adobe. By the way, at this time, Adobe already bought Macromedia for $3.56 billion. So, but this time it was Adobe Flash Player. And Adobe Flash Player is controlled by Adobe. They were the ones with the source code. They were the ones with the decisions. What if they started to charge people? We had to pay. What if they decided to change something? We couldn't have any say. So this was something that Steve Jobs was very, very concerned about. By this time, Steve Jobs believed on the web. He believed on HTML5 and CSS3 and open standards that we could all see, we could all vote and implement instead of one company controlling everything and making all the decisions. Another reason that Steve Jobs explained on his letter was the fact that he believed Flash Player was unreliable. And he said that is the number one reason why Macs crash. Also, Flash Player was built for the computer. It was built for the mouse. It was built for the pointer. It wasn't built for the touch. And also, Flash Player was a security risk for everybody. Many people got infected thanks to Flash Player. Many people had viruses on their computer that came in using Flash Player. And also, many websites were created that showed you like you needed to update Flash Player. They installed something and actually it wasn't even an update. It was a virus. So because of this, because of this single point of failure was that Steve Jobs believed that Flash Player had to go. And it paid off. 
Thanks to this, we pushed HTML5 further, we pushed CSS further, and now we can build beautiful websites, beautiful video games, everything without installing some third-party plugin. So it's been a long way down from Flash Player being installed on every computer to what's gonna happen on December 31st of the year 2020. What will happen is that Flash Player will reach the end of life. That means that you won't be able to download Flash Player anymore. Flash Player will be uninstalled from Windows and Flash Player will be removed from all the browsers. So it's effectively dead. It's going to stop receiving security updates and Adobe is going to encourage people to uninstall it. So that's it for Flash. It was an amazing ride, but the time is over. And instead, we have an open standard, a living, breathing open standard that we can all improve. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are still evolving and will still be. And they're not controlled by any corporation. So it's a good thing that Flash is reaching its end of life, but now even more, there are developers asking Adobe for the Flash source code. They want the Flash source code to be released for free, open source, so we can preserve some of the games that we used to play when we were kids. Because Flash can die, but that doesn't mean history should be erased. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to thank Flash. Today, we remember Flash. Thank you, Flash. You did amazing things, but we are glad you're dead. Kamsamnida, Saranheo. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget with kimchi. Bye-bye.